Welcome back to Project Good Speed. And on today's video, the little hatchback and I are gonna go on a road trip. So we won't be fixing anything today. Hopefully, I don't have to pull over somewhere. For those of you who don't know, this is my 1995 Honda Civic hatchback, and I am Jay. And I mostly just deal with my little hatchback here today, but today is a little different because I'm gonna be going on a little road trip with the little hatchback that way. We're going, we're going on a road trip. So I'm gonna be driving the little Civic over a thousand miles on this little road trip that's gonna take me through California and across the mountains all the way to Las Vegas, Nevada, where I will be meeting up with some friends to go to the 10 year anniversary of the Level Up Expo for three days, where tons of people come together for all kinds of video games and all kinds of unique art, which I am a fan of, as well as some other unique uh, things that only Las Vegas, Nevada is known for. And hopefully this little hatchback can get me there safely to enjoy my little vacation and all the things that this amazing city has to offer while hopefully not losing too much money, but still be able to have a good time. But before I can do all of that, I first have to actually get there. And that means a whole lot of driving, more than I've ever done in one go in this little Honda Civic, in fact. So. I actually drove a few hours to the Bay Area the night before to make sure the Civic could actually do it. I stayed the night and now I'm ready to drive the 500 plus miles to Las Vegas, which is going to be a nine hour drive with low traffic. So most likely it's going to be 10 hours plus with traffic and stops. I've also planned a few stops along the way for gas, snacks and breaks. So me and the little hatchback here can actually get there in one piece and be able to enjoy our time in Las Vegas. Now I'll try to get as much footage as I can, but I'm not making any promises because this hatchback is a little noisy and a little uncomfortable. You know, this traffic wouldn't be so bad if I actually had a second gear. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't work. I basically have to go from first to third because I can't use second. traffic really really not a fan of it man that thing is big my little car just chilling I guess this is a perfect time to tell you guys um, so today is Thursday and uh, the convention that I'm going to in uh, Las Vegas starts on Friday and ends on Sunday and I've booked my stay through through those nights and hopefully I can make it there but if not at least one of those days will be all right Let's talk a little bit about my ride here. Um, not the fastest, not the best, certainly not the quietest. There will be a lot of rackets and bumpy stuff and annoying trim that I have tried to fix, but it, it always comes back. I can't stop it. I don't know. Anyway, my car is lowered, if you guys can tell. See the height of their windows and then mine? That's a normal car. This is not a normal car, which means for the next 10 hours, I'm going to have to pay extra close attention to the road in front of me because one bad bump at the wrong speed could cause some serious damage. Now, as if that wasn't bad enough for my little lowered car, my Civic has another problem because my tires stick out a little bit farther than the body which means that I have even less of a distance to actually compress the springs and absorb a shock um, and I made that worse by adding extra stuff in the car you know my luggage and um, extra things in case something goes wrong so I'm running a little bit heavy and I have to make sure that I really pay attention to the road in front of me because one bad bump and uh, you'll hear the tires scraping against the body. And if it's really bad, you might, you know, cause some serious damage. 
So hopefully that doesn't happen between now and let's say the next 10 hours or so of driving and stopping and fueling up and recording. Stupid thing lied to me, it said it was full. That's not full. So wish me luck. drove two hours away from the bay and the GPS oh stop by to get some breakfast at Denny's the GPS is telling me I've got seven hours to travel to Las Vegas seven hours seven freaking hours in uh, my little hatchback but surprisingly she feels pretty good so fingers crossed I made it this far that's another seven hours cold out there. It's just warm in here. My foot is tired. I, I think I'm a little too long for the hatchback here. I have to rest my foot in a weird angle like this to get it to actually fit. But I think I can manage. We're I think we're a little bit more than halfway there now. There is only 280 something miles left on the trip according to my GPS, which is actually the uh, range that I currently got off of that one tank. So just one more tank left to go currently here in uh, Bakersfield and I stopped off at the nearest gas station from the highway so I can get back on in a minute. I just needed to refuel the Civic. Oh, damn it. Pick up some energy drinks and some freaking snacks because uh, it's about to get dark on me and it's going to really put a strain on my concentration because these roads are messed up around here. I'm telling you guys. It's like each lane you pick, no matter which one, it's always messed up, you know? So I have to constantly switch between lanes in order to make sure I have a smooth straight ride because these bumps, man, they keep getting me, dude. Like people cut me off, get in front, and I need like a really, really uh, long distance in front of me 
to gauge the um, potholes because of, uh, obviously the speed. I'm going too fast, so I need that distance to make sure I actually see the potholes. But they cut me off, and they get too close to me, and I sometimes can't see them, and they are unavoidable. So I'm going to need to refuel and really concentrate on these last four hours of the trip. The Civic has been doing really good. And I haven't seen, heard, I haven't heard, felt, or noticed any issues at all, um, other than the scraping from the speed bumps. But that's to be expected. Hopefully, I can make it there, the, make it there the rest of the way without any issues. Damn boys, it got dark on me quick. Just stopping off at the Barstow station here. There's a bunch of cool stuff in there, but actually I don't really need anything. I just need to rest my leg. Uh, like I said, I'm a little too tall for the hatchback here. And um, yeah, like I've never driven it, driven it this long and my leg is starting to cramp. So I'm just walk it off, maybe grab a quick bite and then back on the road because it's, I'm just two hours away and so far so good. So start it right back up, boom. All reliable here is gonna get us all the way. Please don't die on me, hatchback. We're two hours away. So I filled up one last time just in case because I don't want to end up getting stranded in the last two hours of this really long road trip. It is now 7.45. I started this trip out at around 10.30. We might get there at the 12 hour mark. So, ooh, that's two hours longer than the GPS said, but you know, I have the rest. I can't do the 10 hours straight. It's really not in me, but hopefully we can get there on time. So we are getting real close now. There it is. Welcome to Nevada. And we are so close to our destination. I think it's something like uh, maybe 35 minutes away. Let's see if we can get there before 10 o'clock. It is currently 9.25. Let's go! All right, guys, we are finally here. Now we just gotta get to our location and call this video a wrap. Man. This was a long drive. I didn't think I'd make it. 11 and a half hours later, but we're finally here. All right, can we see? Can we see? Let's get a little mood lighting going. Oh, there it is. All right. I don't know if you guys could hear outside when I did the outro, but the, these freaking jet planes and the traffic is really loud, but I think it's time for me to finally check in at my hotel. Hopefully they still let me. I don't know what the check-in time was, but it's about to be the end of the day. So I'm gonna go get a drink, guys. I got here at 9.56 or 57, I think, and uh, at the Las Vegas sign. I didn't get a chance to take a picture because there's a lot of people there. And uh, I'm very impatient, so I, I, did, I, I just gave up. Anyway, the little hatchback actually made it. Um, I'll be honest, I was a little bit surprised. I low-key thought something was gonna go wrong at some point, but nope, nope, other than having to uh, drive in fourth gear pretty much the entire time, because it was all uphill, something like 4,000 feet elevation. Um, that was the only other, that was the only issue I had, honestly. Uh, hopefully the drive back is as kind as the driveway, as the drive here, anyway. Stay tuned for part two or 
for the drive back. I don't know how I'm gonna edit this just yet, but there will be more.